Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today, we're going to take a look into Fedora 41, the workstation. So let's go to their website first. So fedoraproject.org, that is the website. And it is 100% free and open source. It is your operating system and innovative platform for hardware cloud and container built with love by you it's 100 percent free and open source and this is the latest released 41 let's check out the workstation let's download this one and of course click right here for the iso if you're using the intel and the amd and if you are using the arm and if you need to have a bootable usb so you have to download for mac and windows and for the linux right here i already download this one so let's go to our boxes i use boxes it's much easier i have to change the preference i have to remove the iso and enter the new iso let's go to the download so let's go to the Fedora and let's click open. Okay. I still give it like 12 CPU core with 8 gigabytes of random access memory and 50 gigabytes of storage space. I'm okay with that. Let's enter. I have to full screen. Okay. So we have this option. Test or start the live okay let's start live live boot all right so we have our fedora which surprisingly knows the aspect ratio of our display so this is the live boot installation but of course it functioned properly this live media can be used to install fedora as a temporary system to install get started of course anytime that you want just click right here install i want to install this one so that i could like uh, see the initial boot so this is the anaconda installer so i choose english i'm good with that one continue so let's try to check the system I'll use this one. Okay, done. Okay, no. Okay, again. All right. So I have the installation. Okay, let's reclaim everything. Delete all because I have this installation before. I have the uh, other. OS. Reclaim the space. Okay. And let's begin installation. So the AI will kick in and try to install everything in the this space or the storage space so let's wait for the installation to complete it 100 percent before we have our initial boot i hope they have the welcome application or the welcome app to greet us and know the functions of the fedora workstation it is using the genome or the GNU desktop environment try to look into this operating system the system requirements just minimum requirements for this fedora workstation 41 is basically a 4 gigabytes of random access memory and a 50 gigabytes of storage space and it will run like different architecture like the arm the amd and the intel processors so just look into the iso if you download the correct architectural of your computer 
So the installation of the bootloader or the grub is already installing right now. So we will have our operating system to be installed in a while. All right, so the installation is completed. Let's click finish installation. And then let's try to reboot our system so that we will have our initial boot. Okay, let's try to reboot our system. Restart. And don't forget to remove the ISO file right here by double clicking it. And then try to close this one and restart. Okay. Now uh, let's have the full screen again. So we are in our initial boot right now. This is the welcome app that the Fedora 41 Workstation Edition has. So let's click Start Setup. Location, I'll be okay with that one. Third party, yes, I'll be okay. And of course, let's enter about my login. Username, I'll be just using the real B. And a password, it will be my super secret password and confirm it. Very weak, yeah, it's okay and starts using the Fedora 41 Workstation Edition. So we have our little tour right here. So let's take a look into the tour. Let's begin. So learn about the key feature of the Fedora 41 Workstation Edition. Get an overview, okay? Let's try to see. Powerful search. Stay organized with workstation. Swipe up, swipe down. Okay. Swipe left and swipe right. That's it. You could pause if you wanted to. So that is the welcome page. Let's try to look into the desktop user interface. The desktop user interface, of course, when you click the super key, you will have this one. So you have the show apps, all of their application right here. So it's just only limited. You also have the quick launch application right here. And of course, you also have an option right here. The time and date is on the center top. While your notification and internet volume and power and your settings right here system settings dark mode okay nice power mode it's all right here so that is our desktop user interface let's check out the backgrounds for the wallpaper so we have different wallpaper right here you have the option let me move this one so that you could like see it probably i will be scrolling like from left to right so as you can see different types of wallpaper you have the option to change cool wallpapers and of course your style you have the accent either it will be blue orange red pink purple you have all the options right here on the style on the appearance so that is our appearance let's go back to the original wallpaper it comes with this one okay so let's try to see the application so the application you have the quick launch right here you have the firefox calendar files software or software center your text editor you have the contacts, camera, weather, clock, maps, Fedora, media, writer, your LibreOffice, videos, calculator, document scan, system settings, your system monitor, boxes, yes, your visualization app. You also have the rhythm box for your MP3 and or web files. You have the help right here plus the terminal if you wanted to use the terminal. 
you have the tour at the same time let's check out the utilities the utilities has the the this user analyzer connections this document viewer image viewer problem reporting characters logs and font so that is your application that is available right here you can also search for your application if you want to have the shortcut key so that is the application let's go to the software center okay i'll add the other repository so that it will be updated let's update first our system so that it will work properly and then try to see what application can download right here okay let's restart and update this one okay let's click the restart and install and let's enter again and apply full screen so the installation of the update is in 14 percent complete so let's wait until it reaches 100 percent okay another restart let's restart our computer again let's enter our super secret password all right so we are now in a, back in our system let's check out the software center let's click this one let's try to download some application do we have some extension already let's see no we don't have any extension so probably let's download extension first so that we could like use it so install yes it is installing all right so the extension is already installed let's try to look for some software like extension manager but i think the internet is so slow extension manager okay we have the extension manager let's download this one too that's how easy to install just uh, click the search bar and search for your application either it will be the complete application name or the brand or the a category and then if you seen your application that you like just click the installation and it will install it for you as the ai will process everything for you same with uninstalling just click the uninstall if you want to uninstall the software so as it is still installing i have to i have to give my remarks yes and conclusion the installation is a little bit like easy because the buttons is either in the lower right bottom or in the upper left corner so it's a little bit like okay but feels like it is a hybrid between the mac and the windows you could like see the application like this one and it will be like windows or mac it will be like mac but at the same time it's look like windows uh the user experience it will be okay it will be like uh samsung dex because samsung dex and the genome has similarities user experience will be just ordinary it's just ordinary to to search for your application it depends on your application that you wanted to so okay loading details okay it's already done yay we could like close this one so how to shut down just click right here and look for the power button right here and click power off so if you have some question feel free to ask me Right in the comments down below. I'm Blair, your science computer and mathematics teacher. Bye for now and see you in the next episode of 
OS operating system. Today's episode is all about Fedora 41 Workstation Edition. Okay, let's shut down and see you in the next episode. Bye. Ciao. Shut down.